Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia. Today we are talking the Aritzia Black Friday sale, also known as the Aritzia Black Five Day sale because it goes on for five days. Anyways, I just wanted to address, I already filmed this video prior, but I received some new information, so I thought I would refilm the intro part and then talk about the wish list later, but the wish list is me in the past and this is me in the future, but still in the past. Does that make sense? Two things, I am still wearing the same sweater I'm wearing in the video I filmed already. Also, my Christmas decorations are up, so that's cool. But anyways, Aritzia usually has a Black Friday sale on American Thanksgiving. This year, in 2019, American Thanksgiving is Thursday, November the 28th, 2019, which means that the Black Friday sale is probably going to start then. Last year, Aritzia had a small clientele sale. Basically, if you are invited to clientele, it means that you shop at Aritzia like pretty frequently. So I usually get invited, fingers crossed I get invited again, so I can shop the sale a lot earlier. That way I can guarantee my sizes, get the things that I want to get, so I'm I'm just basically guaranteeing the items that I want will not sell out in the size that I want. That's not always a guarantee because like a lot of the staff usually buy things there. But anyways, that's kind of like ha why they do the clientele. It's just for their more frequent shoppers. And usually the discount is, it's not necessarily better in clientele, but it is more like generalized. So last year in 2018 for Black Friday, Aritzia had 10% off the, the whole store. So you were given 10% off the whole store, including Super Puffs. And I have to stress that because last year during the public Black Friday sale, the Super Puff was not included. So Super Puff was excluded, but if you were invited to the clientele version of that sale during that clientele time period you were able to buy the super puff for 10 percent off and honestly 10 percent is still 10 percent like i would take that if i was in the market for a super puff but unfortunately i've heard some different news this year i'm not 100 percent sure because i was like trying to prick and pry but nobody's really told me any information basically i think there is going to be a clientele sale for aritzia uh black friday but I don't think it's going to be like last year where you got 10% off. Apparently, Lauren texted me saying that her style advisor told her that it's going to be different, like not everything's going to be on sale. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see, look through your inboxes. The day you see this, if, I don't even know if I'll have an email yet, but today is Wednesday, November the 20th, and I don't think... I don't think that I've received any email yet. I'll probably receive it like a day or two beforehand, so we'll see. But yeah, I know a lot of you guys have been concerned because this year you're like, when is the sale? It usually is way earlier in November, but it the sale only happens when Black Friday happens, which is after Thanksgiving, like American Thanksgiving. So that's why you guys are waiting so long. But I thought I would clear the air. What you're gonna see in the past me is me talking about my wish list, so here we go. Let me know if you guys have heard any news about this stuff or like just help each other out, I don't know. I got a lot of questions and DMs about it, but unfortunately I can't answer it. Once again, I don't work for Aritzia. I have no idea any information, so yeah, they don't tell me anything. I don't work for them, so yeah, I have no idea. I know as much as you probably know, but yeah, anyways. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'm sure somebody will answer if I don't answer. So yeah, here's my wish list. Also, really want to apologize for my appearance. I just came back from a trampoline class after being on a hiatus for a month. So I look like poo-poo, but does it really matter? <laughs> you guys um, DM me on Instagram, and if you don't follow me there, follow me there. It's at underscore hello Harley. A few of you guys asked me what's on my wish list. And currently, I have a couple of things that I'm looking for, but I'm not 100% sure on those items right now because they're just like kind of ridiculously priced. And maybe you guys can comment down below and let me know what you guys think, if I should go for the items or not. Okay, so items that I want, my number one item that I'm really looking forward to trying on and I'm hoping Nina will be able to 
source this for me the Le Fou Wilfred shimmy sweater it is so 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 cute I will insert photos wherever very oversized sweater and I just think it's so cute and dainty really loving the little pearl details that Aritzia has brought into the season I think it's really cute other than that I'm thinking I want to try a new pair of um, new tie front pants just because I want to see what the difference between the old tie front pant and the new tie front pant is I'm also looking for the Babaton Irving sweater, very similar to the Thias cardigan by Wilfred, except this one is a little bit longer and a little bit slouchier. I thought it would be nice to have that variety. And then I'm also looking at the Sunday Best Mayday dress. I don't know why, I think that dress is very, very cute. So hopefully I will be able to find that or at least try it on. I also want to try the Le Fou Wilfred Jive sweater. Really impractical sweater because it's like a sparkly um, disco ball essentially and it's $228. So most likely I won't be purchasing that, but that's something I wanted to try on. I want to try the new Wilfred Free Gemma pants. It looks very similar to the Daria leggings, which are just like high-waisted leather leggings, but these ones look a little bit more high-waisted, so I want to try those. And I also want to try the Daria leggings because I get so many questions about that. I also want to try the Babaton Hesek pant. It's not like a tight-fitting leather pant. It's more of like a fitted, looser leather pant, and I think that looks really elevated and classy as well, so I want to give that a try. I'm thinking of purchasing a super puff shorty or a cloud puff. I'm not sure 100% which one I want yet, so um, I will pull both of them and hopefully be able to see what they kind of look like. I'm leaning towards the super puff just because I like the material more, but the cloud puff is a nice variety. In terms of holiday dress wear, the rhythm dress by Wilfred is gorgeous. It's not part of their holiday collection, but I think that looks way more holiday than what they came out with. Like, I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Because I obviously posted that video of the holiday collection and I didn't try anything on at the time. It was just, I had like a suitcase with me and I had too much stuff. So I didn't try anything on, but I felt like it was very teeny bopper. And I don't know, it just looked a little bit cheapy. I prefer something a lot more classy, I'd say. And not that a velvet bodycon dress isn't classy like you can definitely make it classy but it's just such a one and done piece because if you ever wore that out again a blue velvet dress a purple velvet dress like people will remember that dress but whereas if you wore like something they have like the only slip dress now it used to be called the christine slip dress and i have the christine slip dress or slash the only slip dress and I feel like if you went with something like that, but not in the metallic fabric that they came out with, it would be more wearable because you can change up what you put on top of it. And it's still holiday-esque. Like you could still make that slip dress into something holiday-esque. So it's really strange. I'm not really sure how I feel about that holiday, um, their holiday stuff. It's just, nothing resonates with me. Anyways, that's all that's really on my list. I really definitely want to see the shimmy sweater, so I'm hoping I can order it in and then take a look at it. But it's like $200, so I don't even think it's worth it. I think I prefer to invest that money into a Montpellier because the shimmy sweater is like a, it's sort of like Angora-esque and then it has like pearls all over it. So it's also a sweater that like people will notice you wearing all the time. Whereas the Montpellier is more versatile and I'm very, I'm all about like versatile classic pieces um, in your wardrobe. So yeah, so what's on your wish list, guys? Let me know. I'm sorry it was bo a little bit of a boring video, but I thought I would put that out there because last year I know a lot of you guys had questions about it too. Just be alert, look at your emails because within the next few days you'll probably get an invitation to the clientele or hear about some sort of information with the Aritzia clientele Black 5 day sale. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what's in your wish list. Comment down below. I would love to know and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore hello Harley and I'll talk to you later. Bye! we are talking 